Taylor's treasurer claims he's on disability but is still effectively doing his job. But the mayor and city council want to know why he's not been seen at City Hall for months. Local 4's Rob Maloney reports on the battle this elected official is waging to keep his job. Come down here to the Taylor City Hall and ask for the treasurer. You won't find him because he's not here and he hasn't been for quite some time. He's working from home and let's face it, if you have a phone and a computer, that's all you really need, right? Apparently he called the city of Taylor. Um, I was asking a question about some tax bills. We found Ed Bursa working at his house, using his own cell phone and reading messages on his home PC, dealing with residents' property tax concerns. Right now, you know, it's tax foreclosure time, and that's what I'm trying to save, you know. You know, I want to make sure people stay in their homes here. He's homebound because hip replacement surgery went bad last year after two hospital porters apparently bungled his transfer to his car. Both of them let go of me, and I just fell flat back on my back and bounced on the cement. He says he told the Taylor HR department the next day he couldn't use his right leg and applied for disability. The city didn't like the fact that he's not been around the office. Taylor City Council voted a week before Christmas to stop paying him even though he's an elected officer. And this after they made his job part time and halved his pay the year before. Meantime, quote, the city council seeking the answer to a very simple question. Has the elected city treasurer of Taylor vacated his position by failing to perform the many charter mandated duties of his office, which would include showing up to work? A city council resolution resolved to remove the treasurer from the municipal payroll system, end quote. I'm born and raised in the city of Taylor. I love the city of Taylor. And, you know, I want to keep doing what's best for the city. This is all going to come to a head at a meeting in the beginning of March, we're told by the city. In the meantime, I've looked at the lawsuit and uh, while Ed may seem meek there, he's got a tough attorney because this federal lawsuit filed about a month ago against the city says essentially that Mayor Rick Sollers is going after Bursa and it is also saying that uh, it is a situation where Sollers lied to the city council to get it to stop paying Bursa as a way to try and force him out. And so it's quite, uh, quite intense, and this is far from over. Back to you. And Rod, this of course comes the same week the mayor of Taylor got a visit from the feds. That's right. Uh, the feds were talking to him, uh, we believe, about towing and also about his relationship with a business person and home foreclosures. Now, they're not talking about that here, but if there is any way to tie those two together, you can well imagine that they might, considering that Bursa is in charge of the stuff that has to do with foreclosed homes, and the lawsuit says that the mayor wanted him out and wanted the person he was running against to be in. A twisted tale there. All right, we appreciate it.